Hi there. Going to make a quick video just to introduce these Corsair front panel extension kit cables, premium sleeved accessory cables. Um, these are to the company that upgrade that I made with these uh, Corsair Pro PSU cable kit cables. Oops, part of me camera, which are there. That's what you get in the packet. But most of this video is going to be just about these to see if these are any good. Okay, so that's what this video is about. If you want to see that, then uh, please keep watching. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so let's see um, what's in this pack of extension cables. They are extension cables, they're not replacements for the uh, ones that are fitted in the case that I've got. There's not much information or anything on the uh, front. You can see it says they're uh, 30 centimeters, 12 inches long, premium slaved accessory cables. It does say extension. There's nothing really on the back. So let's go ahead and have a quick look. I've heard some people, or seen some comments, people saying they're perhaps not great quality, but I have a feeling they might have uh, mistaken them for something else. This is the um, USB 2. Replacement cable, and that looks that looks very good. That's that one. This is the USB three, I think. That's what this is. Let's make sure it's it's in focus. Okay. And this again looks very uh, looks very nice. Let me just uh, adjust the light source a bit. So we have here the HD audio cable, you can see that there. Again, this looks, it looks good to me. I mean, some of the pins there are not quite straight. You see that? I presume those got damaged in the, damaged, well, they got bent a little bit in the uh, packing or whatever. So I'm gonna straighten those up. And we've also got, I won't bother taking all these apart, but you can see here the um, hard disk drive LED, and that's that bit. Reset switch. Let's get that in camera, make sure it's on camera. Reset switch, power switch. Uh, then we've got hard disk drive light. Then another reset switch, power switch is the, uh, well that's everything really. Quality feels good, not that you'd really be um, touching these or anything once they're uh, installed. Okay, the USB, audio cable, and uh, other USB cable, USB 2. Okay, so it should be everything. You need to tidy the PC up a bit. Um, how much did these cost? In August 2021, these were about £20 new from an a online retailer. Make sure it's in focus. Okay. All right, so uh, let's see um, the next bit, which will be, why do I need these anyway? Oh, why do I want them?
Okay, here's the actual computer. I've got the um, solid side of the case on. This is the side where I'd normally work. Yeah, see, I've got this this uh, thing on here. This is a decal, 3D printed decal. Uh, not 3D. A uh, desk jet, ink jet printed decal, which I printed off on the on the printer and stuck on myself. It seemed like a good idea at the time because I thought it looked really pretty, but. Not really sure that it belongs on this uh, computer. It's from the Book of Kells. It's quite easy to do. Uh, anyway, it looks okay. But really what we're looking at today are cables. So here's the inside of the computer. You can see the um, Corsair power cable that I showed, uh, showed the box from earlier. This is my Peltier thermoelectric cooler thing and those have got some um, acoustic foam there also actually oh, this is the case side again I don't know if you can see that probably but anyway I've covered that in acoustic foam as well and it sort of um, does something I don't know if it was worth the money it does a little bit of uh, like one decibel or something reduction in noise which is something I suppose. Now um, let's just move the camera in a bit. Make sure. You can see most of these cables that I've bought, these um, they're still here. Those ones. The replacement front extension cables are going to be in this area and you can see it's pretty messy along there. There's little random cables, but that one that one's going to stay actually because it's um, connected to the Peltier cooler. But other cables, these are the front panel cables here. There's most of them. Then there's the USB three over there. USB two is down there as well. You can see there's various colored uh, cables in there. Uh, what else have we got? USB 2, USB 3. Okay, well that's that. That's why I bought them sort of thing. Just give you a quick look around the PC where I've um, tidied up these cables a bit with these new Corsair cables. I'm quite impressed with them. They've got inline capacitors and uh, they look pretty good. You could do maybe with um, some more cable combs like uh, you get one for each cable and it's not really enough i bought this velcro sleeving stuff which is on a roll um, and you can cut as many of those as you will there's a lot of them anyway i don't know how many meters long it is but it's quite a few now, that is very good stuff so that was definitely worth getting uh, what else should i show you in the computer i've seen I've shown this before but i'll show it again in case you haven't seen any of the other videos I've got an intake fan on the bottom there, if you can see that, an intake fan down there, and then this is the front of the case, this is the radiator for the RTX 3090, uh, AORS one, there's two uh, intake fans with an ARGB on the front, two Arctic P12 120mm fans on the other side of it. Okay, so that's again more cables. And um, this, oh, let's just uh, make sure we can see, okay. Here, behind this piece of acoustic foam, is the fan for the Peltier cooler. Um, so I've replaced the motherboard cables there. And then there's the cooler itself. There's a replacement motherboard power cables up there. And at the top, there's a 360 millimeter radiator. Hopefully you can see that for the, um, uh, again, for the Peltier cooler. I've also got on the very top, let's see if we can see this. Two more fans, so it's, it's a push pull. But because I had to mount the radiator, I, I screwed that on first, then put these on afterwards. These are Noctua Redux. Oops. Fan. 
gonna put that back on there. And then I've also, right in front of the computer now, put this acoustic foam, that's where the um, uh, Peltier cooler pump is, but behind that part. And then I've sort of surrounded the two ARGB fans for the uh, RTX 3090 radiator with acoustic foam, just to damp the noise down a bit. Like I said, that, that acoustic foam, it does something, but it's nothing much. Okay, so that's a tour of my PC, and uh, that state of the things down there is probably why I need to, where I feel I need to, perhaps, or could do, improve the um, wiring, the look of the wiring in the computer. Okay, so see you in a minute. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, put these cables in. I was just going to mention as well that I've already also replaced, as well as did all the main uh, power cables and down here and so on, I've also replaced the two SATA data cables there, if you can see them in there, there's two, there's two white cables there, which are, let's see, these Corsair ones from this pack, uh, the cables that are in there are the ones I took out, so I've done that as well. Now I might have to move the phone out of the way to um, get out everything here, get it all connected. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to record everything. I'm just going to move the phone. Let's see, put it over. And there maybe. I don't know how, it's a bit dark over here. I don't intend to um, uh, take the computer and put it on a desk or anything to uh, dismantle it. Because these are just extension cables, this should be fairly easy to do. I mean, I could do that if I wanted to move it. But I don't think I'll need to. So I'm not going to bother with that. And uh, for the sake of laziness, I'm just going to try and replace it in, in place. We'll start off with the um, HD audio. Okay, so here we have HD audio kill. This is a Corsair case. It's a Corsair 780T. It's a big case, an old case. I've had this case for five years or something. And it's just that I'm upgrading in it. Now this over here, if you can see, I'm not sure that there, is the HD audio connector. So if I undo that. Okay. So we'll just pull straight out. And we'll see. There it says HD audio on it. So now I have these two. This is going to be the um extension for it, HD audio, and the black one is the older HD audio. So the intention is, let me untangle this cable a bit.
There's a lot of cables in this computer. I'm going to add a few more. Alright. Mm -hmm. Managed to get that out in the end. Okay, so that's that. Uh, this is, if you look, this is the one with the pens that look a bit not, not so. Let me make sure that I can get that to focus. It don't look too straight. Make sure and uh, just I'll put this on camera so you can see. I'll try and there we go. Oop, no, missed it. Okay. It looks about right. So now I take this one. The missing pen goes to the top. So, in position, securely seated. The idea with these cables now is that I can um, take this cable and pass it through one of the uh, openings in the case, and um, which it already is through one of them, and then just have the white part showing. So you see the white part; it look a bit better than the. Uh, Messy black cables. Could probably put that one somewhere else. Let's see. Right, well that's done anyway. Let's move on. Let's get the cables connected up at least some of them. Next we've got a USB. Okay, which is that one, USB 2, is that into focus, hello based, hello, just in the middle of something at the moment, well oh, the pins on this one look, uh, let's try and focus there, is it going to focus? These look stressor and the other one. So this is this. I don't know, can't see with my hand in the way there. I point to it there. Is that one? Back in focus. Which is behind this white cable now. It's there. Okay, that's that one undone. It just says USB on it. to apply quite a bit of force to get that to connect. 
then if we look at the end of this, you'll see there's one pen missing in the top right hand corner, it's blocked. And we should be able to match that up with the um, socket over there. So this should go in. Not sure that's all the way in just yet. Don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can focus in on it. Move the camera closer. It's this cable here. Oops. Okay, it's that one. Let's um, zoom back out again to normal. You can see what we're doing. This is still going to look quite as straight. Let's see. Uh, This cable here. Okay, if we can get that one out of the way. Well, I'll do that in a minute. All right, what's next? Do that SATA cable next, the SATA 3 cable, which is, I think where I put the camera, you can't quite uh, can you see it there. This cable here, it's a bit too. This one. Let's see that. Well, let's see. There's a little uh, key, a little thing. If you can make sure it's focused, a little protuberance, and then there's a little notch in this end of the replacement. You can see that, hopefully you can see that slides in there. Then in this end, oops, of the replacement, we've also got a notch. So let's see if we can push that cable back through there because it's going to be in the way otherwise. I'll have to go around the other side of the computer at some point. Make sure I'm not messing up anything too much at the other side. I wouldn't be able to get the case back on until I've tidied these cables up, anyway.
Let's have another go. You can hear the heads of the um, pens. Doesn't seem to want to go any further than that. I didn't bend anything. Or has it taken it out of doesn't look quite right. Okay, we'll just take a pause there. Okay, well, hopefully you can see. This is the uh, USB three. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it's all the way in. I've exerted quite a lot of pressure onto it, and um, we won't go in any further. Um. I don't, I don't want to push it too much in case I break it, if there is something uh, in the way or not quite right. So I'm going to leave it like that, and then when I turn everything on, I'll see if it's as in as far as it needs to be anyway. See if it works okay. So next thing that's left, this is the last thing. Yep, this is the last piece of cabling. Are these... Um, This front panel, power switch, reset switch, more power switch, more reset switch, um, hard disk drive, and power lights. Um, and what have I got here? The uh, hard disk drive LED. I think that's what that says, a bit dark over there. Now this computer is slightly different to um, what I've had before. It has um, the motherboard comes with. I just unplug it. Pass it back through here. Can you see that? Motherboard comes with this little uh, sort of connector, and you can connect everything into it, so it should make it a bit easier. Um, I'm sure that it will in this case with these cables because uh, they're, they're just extension cables. Um, but okay, I'm going to give that a go now. Just going to move the phone out of the way a bit over there. Let's see how we get on with this. I can take these out one at a time. Okay, this is the power switch. And let's see. Power switch. 
is the power switch. Power switch to power switch. That's that. First bit. Then I believe this should be reset switch. Oh, now we've got reset switch here. Can you see that? It's a bit fiddly in here. As I said before, it'd be easier if I just uh, did this on a desk or something, but uh, due to laziness, uh, I'm not able to do that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I've got to plug both of these. Back in there. We took one at a time, maybe. Not that one. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first bit done. Next bit is the power LED. You can see that, make sure it's focused. Okay. So if I unplug We've got labels on these. You can see power LED plus and minus. that part of it and the last little bit is what is left now anyway hard disk drive light hard rest of disk drive light so we put that up to so you can't see anything Try and get it to focus in past my hand. All right. So that's everything connected up to everything else in terms of the extension cable. Uh, now we've got on here. We've got, I want to get them negative. I have a feeling it doesn't matter about which way around you put these, but since they're labeled up, try and line them up a bit. They're gonna 
We could go in this way. Okay, maybe do them one at a time then. That's the negative. I can't get the positive one in. Just gonna have to do it the fiddly way. Right, that's that. And there's this. Oh, pull them all out again. Look all the way in, that's better. Give it another push. So that's that side. It's in focus. And that's that side. It should be in focus. All right, now we've got to reconnect it over there. Now one of the pins is missing. Just pause there for a second. Okay, here's everything connected up. Uh, you can see there's one pin covered up and that matches up with the motherboard. The connector, I haven't really got the phone in the right position to show you this, but you can take my word for it. Yeah, I think I'm. That's where I've plugged that in just now. Okay, that's everything. Um, I need to, because I've got this fan at the bottom, I need to clear away these cables before I can uh, switch it on and test it. Uh, because of, otherwise, um, when I switch it on, all the uh, all these loose cables will get munched up in that fan, or they'll wreck the fan, or something or other. We've got to see what's happening with that um, USB 3 there because that definitely doesn't look right but all the pens seem to be straight and everything and uh, I'm not sure why it's not going in. Okay, we'll just pause there for a second. Okay, all the cables are in place and if I just push them out of the way of the... Um, the intake fan on the bottom for now. I'm going to switch on and see what happens. Let's power on. That's just the speakers coming on. That pop. Let's check. Check if anything works. The mouse works. Oh yeah. Okay, the uh Cryo cooler is working. Let's 
was out of the beep. It was the, um, yes, I see you, yes, just a minute. It was the USB 3 we were worried about. I'll have to test that separately, so. Okay, I'll just turn off for now. I'll turn back on again later. By the way, before I go on, I mean, it looks, it looks, I haven't finished the cable management at the front, but the back of it looks, uh, it's like a disaster. And not that the front looks that much better, but it is a bit better. Okay, back in a second. Okay, I put these little uh, cables in, a set of cables. You can see a uh, HD audio cable, the white one there. This is the uh, USB 2 cable, this one. Underneath there, you can see the um, front panel, hard disk light, power light, switches and so on. And then um, just behind here, if I lift it up, you can see that USB 3 there, that one. Okay, it doesn't look like it's in properly, but anyway, that's it. And as far as it'll go, if I push it any harder, I might break it. I did break the um, USB 3 uh, connector on the previous motherboard I had when I was uh, removing it. USB cable, this type. So anyway, I'm trying to go a bit easier on things these days. Right, so what do I think about these cables? I think you can see what they look like. Uh, and the whole purpose of buying these cables is for the aesthetics. Well, what do they look like? Do they look better than um, how things looked before? Yeah, I think they do. It's not a huge difference. Is it 20 quid's worth of difference? Well, that depends on what 20 quid is worth to you, uh, I suppose, or whatever that is in dollars or euros or whatever else. Um, now, two things I want to mention as well. So the whole thing is it, it looks better than it did. So you can value that however you want. The, the connections on these cables are a bit difficult. I showed you one of the uh, connectors uh, where the pins were they weren't all straight it wasn't a big problem but it was just a bit well you know for for such a small set of cables you'd expect them to be okay um it was quite difficult to connect some of the other ones you the usb3 you know about this one quite difficult to put that in place and it does work and everything, but it, it doesn't look like it's quite seated in there properly. And I don't want to push it in any harder, as I said, because I don't want to break it. Um, the the other thing I want to mention for sure, so those bad connections are not, not, not easy to connect, very fiddly. And second thing I want to mention is the hard disk light, uh, uh, which is connected through this front panel connector here, uh, has stopped working. Um, once I connected these cables, possibly it'll start again if I uh, um, connect the cables again. But I've done it about three or four times. Uh, unconnected it, disconnected it, reconnected it, tried everything I could try to uh, get it to work and um, it just doesn't come on. I mean, obviously it's not a great, huge great problem that the hard disk uh, drive light doesn't work. But again, should that be happening with this set of cables? I mean, I'm going to write to the people who sent them and say, well, what can you do about this? You know, send me a new set or, or just a new cable or whatever. But together with all the issues with connecting and things, I mean, this is a new motherboard. It's a Z590. Uh, it's not been out that long and I haven't had it that long either. So, you know, these cables should be uh, able to fit this motherboard. It's a high quality item, I think. Possibly. Um, so, anyway, my overall conclusion. If I was going to buy these again, would I buy them? I probably would, yes. Yeah, despite all the issues with them. I have a feeling I'll be able to get around the uh, cable thing. Hopefully the, the supplier will just send me a new one. Uh, maybe they won't, I don't know. But um, maybe they will. 
And if they don't, I, I have other things that I can try and do to uh, fix any wonky cables, which I shouldn't have to do, obviously, with, with a new set of cables. But nonetheless, you know, you might have to do that. So that's my overall conclusion. Would I buy them again? Yes, I would. Do I think they're great? They're okay. They're just okay. Yeah. If they were a bit better quality, I'd get a higher rating. But as it is, they're just okay. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you like this and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.